Hello and welcome in the IBP series powered by Thermot. Today, another interesting topic. Let's get an overview of the IBP SNOP. By the way, can you explain about IBP and SNOP? Yes, of course, I can discuss about SNOP and, and IBP. Let's see that in, uh, in the next slide. So as we can see here, what is the difference between SNOP and IBP? I would say nothing. It's, uh, it's kind of a, a fight about vocabulary and not very interesting. So yes, SNOP was different in the 80s, but today when we speak about SNOP, let's imagine it's also IBP. So in the, in the video, if you hear me saying IBP, that means I mean SNOP. And if you hear me saying SNOP, this is about IBP, the same stuff, which is an overall process which synchronized demand, supply, finance, and whatever other topics. Let's see that in the very detail just now. Here I'm presenting a quite extensive uh, SNOP IBP process, which goes over a lot of reviews. So the first one, NPI, New Product Introduction Review. As mentioned, this is about launch product, phased out product, portfolio management, budget, investment budget, and so on. So this is a quite interesting uh, step before we go to the details of supply chain. Next one, demand review, where in fact the demand team in the company with the demand manager and so on, review the, the main figures of demands, which have been calculated by a demand planner recently in the demand planning process, and then comes to a, an aggregated view to decide whether it's okay, everything is okay, or is there anything to escalate, any issue to escalate further down to the management business review meeting, which comes at the end. Next, supply review. It's all about availability of products, investment, sourcing decision, and so on. The next one is capacity review. Can the factory cover the, the, the production requirement? Is there any issue with, uh, with breakdown, machine breakdown, machine maintenance in the next 6, 8, 12, 18 months? And so on. Shall we pre-produce because of that? And so on. Inventory review, the same. We have availability on one end with supply review, but this availability is meant is probably due to some inventory position currently in the company, but also in inventory means how much do I invest in safety stock? What is my pipe stocks? What is my work in progress stocks or whatever? Next, pre-SNOP or also named simulation. This is a step where, which is taking into account all the previous steps here above me here, and we'll try to find solutions out of what if scenario, where version management, and look for possible uh, resolutions. Let's assess the financial impact of demand supply capacity inventory in terms of financial. So this is so-called here financial review. It's not like an accounting uh, review. Huh? It's really a supply chain uh, steps here where we want to have the value counter proposition from the volumes that we manage in the other steps. And last but not least, management business review meeting, where in fact the top management will decide about what to do according to the possible simulation we see here or the different decisions that needs to be taken. So this is more or less here what I call an SNOP IBP full process. Actually, in reality, most of the SNOP IBP process that I've seen in my career are, are made of four, four steps, demand review, supply review, pre-sops, and management business review meeting, where the supply review covers capacity, supply inventory, there is no NPI. Shall you follow a four steps SNOP? It's better than nothing, but if you want to go to the full extent, you are the welcome. Now, let's visit a bit the solution. How does it cover and support this full extent SNOP process. From the solution perspective, this is today a just an overview of the SNOP capabilities for the SAP IBP. So it's not going to be an extensive one, and I want just to point out a few, a few hints of the, the solution which make really sense. First, the simulation and what if. What are the capabilities to run simulations on the fly in the systems in order to find possible solutions and possible alternatives to issue? Driver-based planning, a nice way to do some further simulation about numbers and opportunities and uh, risk and, uh, and, and vulnerabilities that you would like to assess. Heuristics in SNOP, you have only the heuristics without shortage. So let's revisit that again. Then simple forecast, because 
you don't need to in SNOP to run a, a, an actual forecast. It's done in demand planning, but sometimes in SNOP you need to extrapolate or to propagate in the future data which are which have been calculated in the next 18 months. And by the way, you need that over 60 months, for instance. So yes, it's good to have a simple forecast to do that kind of prolongation extension. Process definition as well. SNOP brings you the process definition, in other words, kind of workflows, but not constraining workflows proposed by the SNOP group. And by the way, also we'll visit, uh, to visit these different steps that we have uh, have described so far, we will go through the Camelot templates as they are proposed uh, in our pre predefined solution, so-called SCM lab. Let's see that. First topic of the presentation, simulation what-if scenario. In SAP IBP, this is a definite handle that you can use everywhere in the solution, not only in Excel when you do the simulation, but also later if you want, for instance, to report, to run jobs and so on, these simulation and scenario are available. And just to give you a, a glimpse on it, I go here in Analytics Advanced and I take, for instance, uh, the actual sales, for instance, here. Whenever I'm checking my different data that I want, I can select by version and scenario. For that, to demonstrate the simulation in Excel, let me show you that through an, uh, an example, calling, for instance, for a baseline forecast. Here I'm in the baseline template in order to calculate the new forecast, statistical forecast. And let's say I want to simulate different alternatives of forecast. So what do I do? I run the forecast and say, for instance, I want to calculate the best, the best fit, for instance. So here it is. We have now the statistical forecast, which has been refreshed because of the last, uh, last forecast I've calculated. And if I don't want to save, because I don't want to override the actual data for everybody in the, in the system, I can create a scenario. For that, I go to the scenario and create a scenario and say, that was my scenario best fit. So as you can see, now the system has saved the scenario and I can even see that in a new column showing, showing me that I am in the best fit scenario. If I return to Fiori, and just to show you that I have just created the best fit scenario in Excel and it's already available for the, for the selection criteria here in this, uh, in this chart, with, you see here now the best fit uh, scenario in, version, in the base version. In the end, what can we do with this scenario? So we can create as many scenarios as we, we wish. Depends the, and it's done on the fly by the planners. And then later you can compare the values of those different scenarios by just simply calling them in the same display. Like you can see here, I can come here and say, by the way, I want to see, by the way, I want to see baseline and base fit together, for instance. Let's not do that for the demo, okay? And at some points, you have to decide about which one you want to adopt. Do you keep the previous value? Do you want to override the value with your, your scenario? You do that by using the manage. And then in the manage, you can promote, reset to the baseline, uh, baseline version, or just delete your scenario. Next, in the SNOP modules of IPP, you get access to the heuristics. No optimizer, no finite heuristics, like here, I'm in the SCM Labs template with regards to the heuristics results. So I can run and simulate heuristics without shortage because of the SNOP license. This one takes over the last situation, whatever change you have done in the system, and calculates down through the full network the consequences of your uh, different amendments in order to search solution. And again, what I'm saying here, if you need to create scenario out of different runs, please do. For instance, here it has taken into consideration the new demand plan, the new consensus on each customer for this particular product. Next, process definition. So here, back into Fiori. So we see here at the top with the search, uh, the search field that I can, I can define some process template, which means uh, the, these are the process which I want to run and iterate, for instance, every month. And then I manage the iteration of those uh, once they are created. So just for the look at, let's see that quickly. And uh, let me select, for instance, the SNOP uh, SCM lab proposed process. So as we can see here in this uh, SNOP process proposed in our pre configured solution, 
there is a number of steps which are shown here, like uh, NPI, demand review, inventory, supply, and so on. And they organize themselves together between different periods, sequential or parallel at the same time. And then this newly created process runs over the next cycle and lets you uh, track the, the progress of each of those steps. Within each step, you can create also some batch jobs, some ownership, some reviewer, and so on. So we'll have a dedicated video just on the process templates sometimes. Yeah. And last, let's see, let's have a quick look at on the Camelot uh, template. And here I'm back in Excel in order to show you the templates from the SCM Lab solutions with regards to SNOP. So in the templates, if I if I show you, then there is the demand planning ones. There is of course the tactical supply planning, which you have seen last week, and then the SNOP with the master data related to SNOP. I like budget price, like uh, SNOP relevant price, average selling price, intercompany price, things like that. NPI to support the NPI, demand review, inventory, supply, and so on and so forth. And just for the demo, I will show you uh, one of them, like for instance, demand review. In demand review, what do we see? First, that the aggregation level is quite high, like here, uh, the proposed customer region and product family, but it could also be the company and product family or whatever other product groups or, and so on and so forth. And for that, each, each block then aggregated dynamically from the very detailed data. You see the budget figures and you see also the current data which are the volumes, volumes meaning that it's actual actual sales in the past and, uh, and the demand plan, the new CDP published in the future. By the way, you see also the two first columns, which are year to date, year to go, okay? In order to quickly assess uh, what we have done so far and what is still left to be done in the current fiscal year. So budget sales volumes in quantity, of course, then the revenue converted in, uh, in euro by in a budget price, which provides us a profit Profit being, in fact, the difference between a say, an average sales price minus the, the cost of goods sold. And the same for the, the actual data, like here, the sales volumes. Again, actuals in the past and planned in the future. Converted in revenue with a, an average selling price for SNOP. And also the calculating a profit. Not only that, but of course, uh, going along this data coming from IBP, you have, of course, some helps to tell you what to do in this different, uh, in this uh, in this template. Also record your different assumptions, your last decision, your last action that you have taken out of demand, uh, demand review, and also vulnerability and opportunity elements which were reported in the last, uh, in the last period, in the last cycle. And that was to show you uh, quickly how can pre be presented a, a, a typical SNOP review in IBP. Thanks for watching. It was a pleasure to present you an overview of the SNOP process and the application in SAP IBP. Next time, we will go with further overview. In the meantime, thanks to click on the thumbs up if you can, and also comments. Feel free commenting. I am reacting on your comments, being articles or video. I am really happy to answer it. See you next time. Bye now.